guys welcome back to today's video so i'm going to be explaining the concept of dedicated period and pre-dedicated period and how that worked out for me so because you're family step one step two whatever originated in the u.s right there is a medical school medical license exam for u.s uh, medical students so dedicated period is that time or a few weeks i think average of four five weeks six weeks where classes finish you know you are done with your material for because it takes step one in um second year so the time period between when you stop having classes to your actual exam date right so for us that did crop it would be those two three weeks when we finished exams for third year and then we had to revise for crop so obviously you cannot i don't think that people just show up in dedicated and then they begin no throughout the academic year throughout the school year yeah you've been preparing and stuff right so for us imgs is more flexible because nobody gives you that structure there are, i don't know maybe there are but there are there are just going to be a few but for the rest of us um usmle is an individual stuff right it's not part of your school calendar so nobody gives you a calendar to see oh from so 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 time so 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 time you should um you know put, you're going to have your dedicated at this time no it's actually something that you yourself have to prep and plan so you might that's why it's going to look different for everyone but from my own experience um i raised the point while i was still in medical school okay so how did i manage to cover the dedicated period now if you really want to have a dedicated period i i think that um something that you can do is to schedule your exam during the summer break all right we have about two months of summer holiday so you can schedule your exam at the end of summer or beginning of the school year so you maybe just resume one week or two weeks late and rework your classes or yeah or you can just do it middle of the summer you know that's if you really 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 want to have like a particular dedicated time you can also do it during the winter break because winter break can actually be like a month right so that's something you can do so you read of course months and months before that time but then when it comes to summer then you just take that summer out one month six weeks and you use that time to have a dedicated so um my dedicated period wasn't actually purely dedicated right because i wrote it while school was still on so i wrote it, i wrote in sixth year first semester yeah sixth year in our school in my school was just a time of review it was a time when we were just like you know doing a recap of everything that we've learned 40th, 50th, some part of third year. So it wasn't like we we're having like new materials being taught. We we're just like, you know, doing differential diagnosis of things, trying to diagnose cases, you know, just mini doctor stuff. Okay. So because of that, we had um it was a bit flexible. You no, know, there was some time. It wasn't as rigid as you know when you have class by eight and then you have another one by eleven, another one by twelve. No, it was actually we are doing it in cycles such that okay. If you have internal medicine for these six weeks, you're going to be doing internal medicine you know, every day, every day. So I found that to be very flexible and it was just a good time for me. So what I did was I spoke to some of my teachers, just made an arrangement with them, said, okay, I have you for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, please, can I come on Tuesday? You know, can I, you know, is there a way I can do my coursework ahead or do it behind? You know, I just spoke to them and a few of them understood. So that way I wasn't attending classes every day. Do I recommend that? I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be honestly dependent on you but i knew that at that time this was like a very important exam for me i paid i didn't have any more time so i just had to do what i had to do and you know i also made sure that i i was you know trying to also juggle my classes ahead the classes i missed when i traveled i came back and i redid them i also got a letter from schools you know explaining my absence saying that they know that i'm a way for so 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 you know time and, and that's what i did so before those um before sixth year and of course, spent time, you know, doing my review. I'd finished my UWORD first pass at the time. Like, I'd gone through UWORD. I'd um, gone through my first aid. I'd done all these other resources that I, I talked about in my previous video. If you've not watched it, you should go ahead and watch it. It's the video about the resources I used for step one. So before six year, before those few months before my exam, yes, I'd read. It wasn't like I was just starting. So those three months or so of first semester of sixth year, we are just, um, I was just recapping, honestly, because um, something that I do personally is, um, and it's also something that I applied when I was studying for step two is, when I'm doing my pre-dedicated, in quotes, <laughs> I might not memorize stuff. I just try to learn. I try to know what is this exam talking about? You know, what is the scope of this exam? How do I answer questions? So I just focus on learning, learning, learning. If you ask me to explain something, I might. If you quiz me on something, I might not be able to give you the details. Okay, so that's what I did before then. 
But then when I now finished the world first round and then I reset it and started the second one, I taking an assessment to know, gauge my readiness. It wasn't bad. It was actually a good score. And I knew that I still had a few more months, so I knew I could build on that. So what I did was, when I finished that first one, you know, reset my new world, and then I started to memorize stuff. I started to find out, okay, what are the things I don't really know? Because it doesn't make sense that you do your work again, no matter how many times you do your work. If you don't focus on the things that are getting wrong, or the things that are hard for you, the things that you struggle to think about when you're doing your answers, it won't really pay you, okay? So that dedicated period is the time when you're trying to reinforce everything. You know, you've learned, like, step one is such a, like, such a well, like, the scope of the things you have to learn is just so much. So that dedicated period is when you're trying to now, like, save information. Okay, I know this really well. I don't know this. Okay, um, what are the things that people that are taking the exam recently, what are they being tested on? What are they, what advice are they giving us now? You know, that dedicated period is when you want to just put everything. And also the time when you want to take your assessment. I also, I don't really advise that you give your assessment for one month before. Honestly, I don't think so because... For me, I left my assessment till later and it caused me panic because I remember when it was a few weeks leading up to my exam, I was struggling to you know, attend classes, trying also to um, do my, my normal, like do, go through my queue banks, finish them, you know, or do as much as I could or as many questions as I could. And I was also trying to do assessments. And at that time, people are started to say that, oh, assessments we are being like they were gaining importance because at that time they 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 phased out the old assessments and then they improved on them and brought out new ones so people are now going to exams coming back and saying things like oh my god these exams these assessments are heavily tested it was the same concept as this mbme it was the same this i was like oh my god when am i going to now study mbme 200 questions each and then review them so I know it caused me panic and I ended up doing only two MBMEs for my exam. And the first one I did even four months earlier, during my actual dedicated, I ended up doing only one. Because at that time, I was so fatigued. I was running around for visa. Oh my God. <laughs> so guys, see, I know this exam is sometimes, it might be a gamble, right? You see someone that read and read and read and still don't do as well as someone who just read for three months, four months. But I still believe that the things that you can control, try your best to control them. So if you know that last minute stop is going to make you very rushed and panicked, try to schedule your assessment earlier. 